and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivory Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember, guys, if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe, remember to smash that like button, remember to share because why? Sharing Ivory Spice is caring. Boom. And today, guys, well, it's Manchester United one, Fulham one. Manchester United dropping two points. Do Manchester United want the second place position? Do Manchester United want to build momentum? It looks like they don't. We haven't won a game since losing to Roma in the second leg. Just peep that, deep that, guys. We haven't won a game since we've lost in the second leg to Roma. N nope, not one game. Just been losers, L's and draws. I'm even saying losers. It doesn't even make any sense. It's just been three lost in a row plus a draw. Can't can't win a game at the moment. We're building momentum. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. But Manchester United fan, deep this, peep this. Because if you watch that match, you'll be thinking, another match where we clearly can see that the guys cannot break lines and pass the ball. Football was so dead. Dead, 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 dead. Honestly speaking, in my own opinion, you can beg to differ as much as you like. But right now, I honestly feel like Manchester United with the ball, blech, uh, can't do anything with the ball, FC. Can't pass the ball. Today was a day where we fought. Yes, build momentum into that Europa League. And I love the fact that Dean Henderson got benched. And his attitude about make me number one or I look into leave. Who the hell are you? Who are you, Dean Henderson? What? Do you have Premier League medals? Do you have what? European Championship medals or something like that? Do you have any credentials, bro? Where's your credentials from? Where's your credit? You don't have none. So how dare you think you can just demand to Oli and say, rah, like, man wants to start with first, first place. Man wants to get that first position. Now, if you don't give that to me, I'm going to leave. Leave. I rather we keep David De Gea and bring on another goalkeeper, you know, because it's still, God damn it, man has to see say it one more time. I believe in De Gea. Brilliant saves he's made early on in the game, especially the parts where he saved and also catch it like it was nothing from a header from Fulham. Fulham was attacking us, guys. But yet again, Manchester United to not do anything again with the ball. Trash. I'm, and I'm tired, guys. I'm tired of saying this. Who was coaching Manchester United? You know, Oli, you need to sort yourself out because you don't coach and I can't have a go at you. But you need to fire that person. It's needed, guys. We can't watch a game of football with Manchester United's fan coming back to seeing that. To seeing that. And I know now those who think, I'm Oli in, I'm Oli in. Now you've witnessed the football that we've been seeing, yeah? And you're going to be like, raw man spent almost 60, 70 pounds to watch this shit. This shit. Apart from Cavani's goal, brilliant. Apart from that, what did we really do? Nothing. Let's go straight into that game, guys. Because, uh, cause, oh my, oh my, oh my. Jungle book. Del Matador. Tarzan. Mowgli. Beautiful goal. Beautiful chip. Sexy. Sexy. Dirty. What, everything in it, you know. Ratings. 18, not allowed to watch it. Parental advisory, explicit chip. Ariola made it look like a stupid dickhead, bro. Ariola looked like a fool. He was off his line and then Cavani saw it, but it was such a lovely chip. And it was just like, Stratford then, why not? He probably thought to himself, Bruno, you got a goal of the season and the season hasn't even done? No, 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 no. Let me show these fans because they ain't seen a spectacular goal like this from a great one. And boom, Anderson Cavani delivers. After that, it was mentioned I didn't fuck all. Can't keep the ball FC, you know. Can't create a chance FC, you know. Get me freestyle football FC. All of that individual brilliance again FC. Bruv, no structure FC as always, bro. Couldn't do anything with that ball. I couldn't see the clear cut chances. All these players that we have, yeah, again. Unable to do things. And that, again, that's the way we play football. Side to side, wing back to wing back. I mean, full back to full back. You know, side, side, side pass. Not breaking any lines. Not really penetrating anything. It's just shit football, guys. Half time, Manchester United 1-0. I thought, uh, I hope we can score a second goal. Nope. Second half, Fulham comes back. 
with, of course, Lucio failing to challenge in the opposition. God damn it, Lucio. Just tackle the man. The guy ends up crossing the ball. And of course, and of course, Brian ends up scoring. We can see that goal in it. And the match finished off 1-1. In fact, the substitutions with Oli really pissed me off, you know. It really does piss me off, you know. Bringing on Van der Beek so late, you know, you think, put him on early, you fool. But nah, he didn't want to do that. And, and also, again, again, this lack of being commanding on the sideline grinds my gears and gets to my tits. And, and when he box instructions out, it's of a smile at the end. Do not smile. If Ferguson doesn't smile. A lot of coaches doesn't smell when they're giving instructions out, you know. When they're being serious at all. How can you be serious with instruction and then you smile at you? That reminds me of my teacher. I had a teacher that used to shout out. You guys are done again. You guys are horrible. And then a few seconds, pause. <laughs> How can you take a teacher serious like that when he smiles at the end of having a go at you guys? And that's Ollie. He has a go at you and then he smiles at the end. And you're there thinking... Is he serious or is he joking? I don't know. This guy's a joke, man. But yeah, Manchester United fans, momentum, I don't know if he'll be building anytime soon. We've got one more game, which is Wolves. And I said it in the, to myself and I said it to the guys in the podcast, of the catch up, volume 44. Make sure you watch that, guys. I don't think Manchester United will beat Fulham. They will disappoint. And if we don't finish second, boy, oh boy, is this, is this um, what you call it, progress in the league? No, if we finish third, not if we finish third. It won't be progress. Man of the match today, guys. I'm going to have to give it to Edison Cavani. I thought that just because he scored a goal, nothing more than that. That's the reason why I'm going to give him man of the match. Donkey of the match got to go to the whole team for failing to not score any more goals. I'm tired of seeing this football, guys. I'm tired. And when I don't, I want. When are you guys going to wake up and smell the coffee? Wake up and smell the coffee. The football shit. Manchester United are badly coached. I don't care if you want to say players X Y, but and as well, you guys need to understand football's like this. You have a way of playing, and if that's not effective, of course you're gonna rely on individual brilliance. And if you're relying on individual brilliance, that's when flaws will show because that's when you start seeing. Who's good and who's not, yeah, and, and, and it exposes so much. If you have a structure, system of way of playing where players know where to be and everything is like second nature to them, like that. It's, 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 it's first nature, I'm sorry. It's natural to them. Then you have a better chance. You have a better chance of, you know, doing things, you know. Because these players, freestyle football, ain't the one. And if you're banking on individual brilliance to win you games, the P45 is coming. Your P45 is definitely coming. Manchester United fan, suck it in. Get used to it, you know. Until the end of the season, let's just ride it out. Hopefully, we can win the Europa League. Has to. Otherwise, my man, out. As always, guys, this has been your match reaction by Ivor and Spice. Let me know who your man in the match was. Let me know who your donkey of the match was. Also, let me know what you thought of the match. And as always, remember to follow the official Instagram account of Red United TV, which is Red United TV One, baby. And also remember to follow the official TikTok account, which is Red United TV. And also my personal Instagram account, which is Ivorian underscore Spice. That same thing goes to the Twitter and also Snapchat. And as always, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and remember to share, because why? Sharing Ivorian Spice is caring, and my ladies, always remember to share this link to your ex-boyfriends, remember to share the link to your current boyfriend, and also remember to share the link to the guy that's been trying to move you at the bus stop, and you've told him that you got man, and you've said he said to you, that were your brothers anyway, because he was feeling the rejection, it was hurting his heart. And also remember to, to share it to the guy that's been trying to move to you at the train station, you also told him as a man, you have a man. He's there saying, but we can be friends though, we can be friends though. Also remember to share the guy that has been buying you lunch at work, all this time trying to get some but he will never ever get any remember to share the link to the guys especially your dad's friend that's been looking at you grow and as soon as you've started you know looking mm, they're like my oh my you have grown and when you share the link and they ask you what's this tell them that you found a man that does it way better than you and that's how for respect as always guys remember to keep it united and remember to keep it red united peace out boom